Um, a couple of key key ones, and these were all at the pres President Bush's direction because he was intimately involved in, in everything. One was that we would focus the resources uh, where the majority of the disease was. So 15 countries, 50% uh, of the d disease burden in the world. Um, you could have spread that money across 120 countries, which some people wanted us to do, but we wanted to support national scale up of programs. And that's why numbers are where they are today, because you can run pilot projects from Washington or London, you can't run national scale up. And so the systems had to be created to allow for global scale up, uh, national scale up. The second was not to build and start where we weren't already there. So some people wonder why Malawi wasn't a focus country, or Lesotho or Swaziland. Lesotho and Swaziland, we didn't have bilateral programs. It would have taken us as long as the Global Fund to scale up. And Malawi had a $200 million grant, the largest grant for HIV. So it was our view that we had the bilateral program to uh, step in as quickly as possible and scale up but that the Global Fund and the world community should be responding elsewhere, where the U.S. government couldn't move rapidly bilaterally or the fund was already active. I think those were two incredibly wise decisions. Um, the biggest mistake we made was uh, we honestly believe that if President Bush put out $15 billion in a challenge to the world, going to the G8, they would give the 30, match two to one, um, that was need that at the time was, was thought to be necessary to tackle the epidemic completely. So we thought if we put out 15, they would come forward with the 30, which would get us to the 45. Didn't happen.